Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel if you are new. Hello, my name is V. I post no tutorials every Thursday and Sunday at 8.15 a.m. Central Time. I am so excited to be back. I am not even gonna lie. I've been counting down the days and I believe my husband is really excited as well. So to kick start off my videos again, I figured we would do my toes. They've been struggling and if you guys can tell from the thumbnail, they are crusty. I have not done my nails since the last video that I posted on my toes. So, disregard the crustiness. We are going to get them back into shape. We are going to be fixing my chipped toenail as well. So you guys will be able to see that process in today's video. So if you guys are interested, make sure you continue to watch and subscribe to my channel to support your girl. I am starting off by using my rechargeable e-file. This one is from McCart, very inexpensive. If you use my discount code, I believe it comes out to a little bit over $80. Very good deal in my opinion. It is my e-file that I keep at home for when I need to do my toes or if I need to file anything. This one stays at home for my personal use. Definitely recommend it. It works really, really well. I have no complaints about it whatsoever. Along with that, I'm using the Not Polish 5-in-1 Bit. All products in today's video are going to be products that I keep at home. It's going to be a little bit different, but I figured I would give other products a go versus the ones that you guys are typically used to seeing on my channel. So this 5-in-1 bit is medium grit, I believe. Definitely recommend it. I like it. I love 5-in-1 bits. The ones that I use mainly are the Kiara Sky ones. However, this one is equal to that great quality. So make sure you guys check that out. I do have my e-file at about a speed of 8,000 RPMs on this e-file. And I'm just going in gently and removing the gel polish from my toenails. <laughs> you can tell I haven't done them in a long time. I've just been trimming them down. So these last few toes, as you can see, don't really have anything. It's kind of funny, honestly. And of course I did chip this toenail. I was super bummed. I like my toes, well my big toes to be super square. And when I chipped it, I was so devastated. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take this as an opportunity and show my girls how I would fix it. So I am going in again and just removing that gel polish very, very carefully, very light pressure. I am not trying to damage my natural nail. I just want to gently remove that gel polish from the surface. Now, I usually don't talk about my personal life on my nail channel. However, I've gotten tons of DMs asking where the heck I have been and when am I coming back. So if you have not been following my videos in the past few months, you probably do not know that I was pregnant for nine months and I did recently just have my baby girl. We have been taking the time to just indulge in her newborn cuteness. She's such a good baby, so we're excited to have her. It's just so nice to take you know time to yourself it, with your family and really just appreciate the little moments. So we've been happily doing that for a good minute. Now I am back, but I did wanna mention to you guys that we do have a family vlog channel that we started a few months ago. So if you guys are interested in any behind the scenes, kinda see a little glimpse into my life that you don't get to see on my now channel, Go ahead and subscribe to that channel. I am so excited to be sharing all that stuff with you guys. So getting back to the tutorial, I have now switched my e-file bit to the mandrel bit with the sanding band. This one is from Profiles Backstage. It is medium grit. So what I'm doing is prepping the nail for the gel polish application. Since I have removed the gel polish, now I want to prep the natural nail by just gently buffing off that shine. And what I like to do as well is try to get really close to that cuticle area and push it back without having to use a cuticle pusher or anything like that. I like to do everything with my e-file just because it's easier in my opinion. And I feel like you can really get in and get a good prep by doing so. Now that I'm done buffing off that shine, I am taking a hand file. This one is from Not Polish. Definitely recommend these. I have only used them a handful of times and I'm about to take them to the salon to give them a good chance in a salon setting. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. 
but they are very, very firm. The grit on them is perfect. So I'm just taking that and squaring off my toenails. I like to keep my toenails nice and squared. It's just my preference. You can round them off if you want, but crucial to have a nice and sturdy hand file to do this specifically. You do not want a flimsy one that's gonna go all over the place and not give you that nice and straight look that I'm specifically looking for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat that on the rest of my toenails and then we're going to be doing a little bit of cleaning up around the skin. I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but for all of my prep, I like to put my e-file down to a speed of 4,000 RPMs. So now I am switching my bit to this like buffing one. I'm not quite sure what the specific name of it is, but I don't have any of my prep bits here at home. However, I did find this in my stash and I was like, let me give it a go. Let's see if it works. Basically, any type of bits like this are going to work really well to buff off very gently that skin. And it is my favorite way of getting rid of dead skin versus cutting it off with cuticle nippers. So definitely recommend purchasing some bits for the cuticle area. This one did just what I needed it to gently buff off that dead skin and clean it up very nicely to make it look so much better. Now I'm taking this nail bonder primer. I believe it's just a dehydrator. So I'm using that to kind of prep my nails for the application and all of that good stuff. I don't ever really get concerned about using primer, base, or anything like that on my toenails because if you guys are familiar with getting your toenails done, they last a really long time in comparison to your hands. Now I'm finally fixing this broken toenail. I've been rocking these crusty toenails for a good minute, so I'm so excited to be fixing all of this hot mess that I have going on. I am using clear acrylic from Not Polish. Along with that, I'm using the Profiles Backstage Monomer and the Profiles Backstage Sculpted Like It's Hot Acrylic Brush in the size 12. I'm basically taking a very small bead of acrylic and I'm just placing that in the area where I'm trying to build out that nail. So technically, I am using my skin for my big toenail to work as a form. Since I'm not using a form, I'm not using a tip. I'm basically just using the skin in that area to help form that acrylic. And then I'm just lightly tapping it down to get the shape that I want. Super easy. I'm not focusing too much on blending it out at all whatsoever because I just want to build out that little corner. So now I'm taking my e-file once again. 8,000 RPMs is the speed. Along with that, I'm using the Not Polish 5-in-1 bit medium grit. And I'm starting to file away that bulk product that I just applied. So even though I did use a small bead of acrylic, you can still tell that it was a little bit more 
higher in certain areas. I didn't take the time to really blend it out since I was focusing on that corner. Therefore, I need to file it down and make it as even as possible to the rest of the toenail as I can. And that's basically what I'm doing in this step. Just really debulking that, blending it in very, very gently because I do not want to break it again. So make sure you are using very light pressure for this step. Like I'm learning the game with the maker I already know now. Now taking my hand file once again, I'm just going to make sure that that is nice and squared off. I tried shaping it as best as possible with my brush. However, I still want to go in and make it super, super crisp when it comes to that square shape. And then I'm just lightly just taking the back of that hand file and making sure that everything is nice and blended. I feel like with the hand file, you can really get a good feel of whether it's blended or not versus using your e-file. So I always like to use my hand file just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. Now as a final step to ensure that everything is nice and blended, I'm taking a sponge buffer from Profiles Backstage and just going in on that big toe and making sure everything is super smooth, going nice and firm on the buffing and making sure that everything is nice and blended. Now for the star of the video, I'm so excited to present to you guys the Profiles Backstage Gel Art Liner Kit. I squealed very, very loudly whenever I received these in the mail, just to give you guys a little bit of insight. I was so excited when I saw these. The fall collection, the colors are just so perfect. You get all the creamy neutral brown tones that I live for. You got your white, black, coffee, cream, latte, silver, spice, gold, orange, and pumpkin. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about the product without having used it yet. The consistency for my liking is perfect. I like my gel or anything to be very, very thick in consistency because I feel like it is so much easier to work with. This is just my opinion and a lot of people have different thoughts and that is completely fine. I'm giving you guys fully my opinion. I want them to be nice and thick so that when I place it on the nail, it doesn't run all over the place and I don't have to clean a bunch of mess. So the consistency is a win for me. The bristles on the brush are perfect. They are super thin yet firm, which helps with drawing stuff. They're just, I'm in love. So that's a win as well. And then the pigments, you guys, when it comes to these colors, they are so opaque. And if you guys have heard me talk passionately about gel art products, <laughs> you will note that the opaqueness in the color, the richness in the color is crucial when it comes to whether I like the product or not. So that's a quick little insight into the gel art collection from Profiles Backstage. Must buy, get yourself some pretty beautiful fall colors. Now aside from that, they also have their campfire collection for their gel polish and nail polish. So. Of course, I had to throw that in there. I don't use gel polish on fingernails, so I figured I would give it a go on my toes. That one is called Get Toasted, which is a red undertone brown. Super, super pretty. And then I am going to be doing something different on my toes than what I normally do. Typically, you guys, I'm basic and I just do white. And then in the kind of colder season, I like to do nude. <laughs> 
So I figured if I'm gonna do my toenails and I'm gonna do a video on it, I am going to be doing something completely different. So I figured I would do like the mix match colors and just basically swatch the colors for you guys on my toes while still creating a cute fall design. So I'm gonna be using this sparkly spice color on this toe. And I figured I would just use these gel liners because it's so much easier like you can see how easy that was to apply i just went ahead and outlined the cuticle area and then filled in the rest boom done versus with a bigger gel polish brush it's a little bit more tricky to work with so i'm going to go ahead and apply that on the rest of my toes and then we're going to be doing some nail art on the big toe something super simple yet perfect for fall so i'm going to go ahead and finish applying that this one is called pumpkin So for this very short portion, I'm using the at-home Kiara Sky LED light. And now you're probably wondering, what the heck? How did I go from curing my foot to this? <laughs> now you guys know I'm super transparent when it comes to products not working, things not going the way that they need to go. I like letting you guys know so that my mistakes teach you guys certain things. So that being said, I completely forgot that the Kiara Sky LED light, the at-home version, has a smaller wattage than what you need in your typical salon LED light. That being said, because these gel art liners are super pigmented, the pigments are super opaque, you need something strong to cure them fully. Therefore, when I cured it into my Kiara Sky light, it made it crinkly, which means it is not curing all of the layers of that gel paint. So, 
The solution was to just go ahead, remove it, start all over, and use a better light. That is why you are seeing me remove the gel polish, reapply it, and now I'm using the Young Nails LED light. So take it from me, use a good light from the beginning. <laughs> Don't try to cut corners and use something small. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that off and then we're gonna be finally doing some plaid nail art. So don't forget to cure this in the light. I'm leaving it in there for a full 90 seconds. I'm not risking it. We want to make sure everything is nice and cured. I figured I would share with you guys what I was talking about with the crinkly and the wrinkliness. So I just took my finger and you can tell that like part of it peeled off, which means it's not fully cured, which means I have to file these off as well. And for this foot, I'm just taking off the orange and the brown. So now going back to my other foot, I am going to be doing a second coat just on the ones that I want a little bit more darkness on. And then we're going to be placing that back into the light and you'll be able to see me remove the gel polish off of the other toes as well. Now for this step, I am using my e-file again at a speed of about 6,000 RPMs. I think I used it for this. Along with that, I'm using my mandrel bit and a sanding band. So for these two toenails, I'm basically just going to lightly file off what didn't get cured. And then I'm going to be going in with the actual polish again and just basically fill it in. I am not overly filing my toes again. So you'll still see a little bit of pigment here and there left behind from me filing it. I do not want to damage my toenails, reason why I'm leaving some of that color on there. Now going back to my big toe on my right foot, we are using the cream color from the Gel Art liners and I'm just applying that on top of the entire surface of my toenail. This is going to work as our base for that plaid design. I wanted something lighter but I didn't want to do white and this is such a pretty fall color so definitely recommend this one. I'm just going in and carefully applying that around the cuticle and then just filling in the rest of it. And then of course we're going to be placing that in the light once again.
Once we are out of the light and everything is cured, I am going in with my nail art. This one is going to be just the brown color from the gel liners. And I'm doing one thick line off to the side. You can do it on the left side or the right side. I chose to do it the closest to the rest of my toes. Therefore, it being on the right side. And I'm doing kind of a thick brown line and I'm gonna be doing a thinner one across the nail. And then we're gonna be popping that into the light and going in with our next color. Once we're out of the light, now I'm going in with the color Latte from the Gel Art Liners. I love it. It's such a pretty color and I wish I would have put it on one of my other toes, but I didn't. So it's like a light coffee color and I'm obsessed with it. Skinny line right next to the thick brown one and then we're going to be putting some orange in here as well. Now I did end up adding another line with that latte color off to the left side. I don't know what happened to that footage, but it's just another straight skinny line. Place that in the light. Once everything is fully cured, I am actually going in with a Profiles Backstage shiny top coat. Because these are on the darker side, I'm not concerned about protecting my toe color a lot. Usually I use a stain resistant one. However, I wanted to give this one a go. This one is just their shiny top coat. I will leave it linked down below along with their discount code as well. I'm just applying a good layer of that onto the surface of my toes. I will say from just using it this one time, it is on the thicker side, which got me really excited because for my toes, I want a little extra protection and that extra thickness in the top coat is gonna help a little bit. So I'm placing that into the light for a full 90 seconds, making sure everything is nice and cured. Once we are out, I am using the Profiles Backstage Velvet Oil as well. It is their cuticle oil that smells so, so good. I say that every single time. And it is a nice matte finish. It doesn't leave an oily cast, which is also really important in my books. Now I'm just taking my fingers and just generously rubbing that in. This cuticle bottle stays at home with me, you guys, so do not come at me for putting it all over my toes and it being unsanitary this one is my personal use one that stays with me and it is only for me to use <laughs> so i'm just rubbing that in very well kind of blending it out into the rest of my foot but that basically concludes today's video let me know what you guys think down below thank you guys so much for watching i'm so excited to be back stay tuned for more make sure you guys subscribe to my channel along with my family vlog channel as well Make sure to comment down below and let me know your guys' thoughts. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Day one.